So the kids are on their way down from kind of up that mountain there is where Champfleury is. Um, and they, it's about a 20 minute walk down to this level, uh, which is the, um, the town of Khuj. And uh, we uh, come down here a couple times uh, during the camp to play on this big field here. It's a town field and it's kind of first come first serve. You don't really reserve it. So um, this year we got here first. There are some kids who are trying to play soccer who are from the town and they will soon be inundated with about 70 campers and realize they shouldn't be here. And there goes our nurse right now uh, to tell them, sorry. Uh, so our kids will come uh, because we're playing ultimate Frisbee today and they have been divided up into seven teams of 10 each or 10 teams of whatever it is. Um, no, I think it's seven teams of 10, seven teams of 10. Um, this, this fence here, though it looks like we're in a caged environment, is actually um, a part of a, a French law. And you'll see some fences around um, many of the neighbors' uh, houses as well. And we found out that is to um, stop squatters from coming. Um, they, they did have an issue with that in a lot of French towns. If you do not have a, a fence around your house, then squatters can come. And if they're not off your property by uh, it's two or three months, which you, you would think you'd be able to kick somebody off after, you know, before two or three months. But if you don't, uh, then they can have rights. But let's say that you are traveling, uh, like all of France, for example, kind of goes on vacation most of France uh, in the month of August. Um, but if you have a big property and uh, you don't know somebody's been on your property, then they can claim a right to it. But if you have a fence, then that is a way to communicate thank you, but no thank you. Um, and so, for example, this field, when I came, uh, it was probably 12 years ago, uh, I would come down the hill first to kind of do a reconnaissance mission uh, to see if the gypsies were here, because uh, there are wandering gypsies in France. Um, and the one time there were gypsies here, and so we had to cancel the activities uh, for the day, um, at least down here. Uh, but now with the fence up, that communicates to the gypsies that they can't just come in and set up shop here. So again, the kids will be coming down that road right there. And then um, in a couple of days, we will be hiking raise it up all right you see the the highest peak up in there where it kind of so you've got this first level of mountain that goes to right about there and then you got this piece here so if i were to zoom well i can't zoom in any further sorry about that um but that point right where my finger is and i take it away that little ridge right there um if you were to zoom in you would see chairlifts on the top of that because that is actually the ski station, um, ski resort, where we were the other day and we were filming up there. So I had the honor of skiing that. I came over in the winter once for a conference and I got to ski up there. That's the local ski area. We will be hiking up there in a couple of days and spending the night outside. There'll be three levels of hikes, uh, difficult, medium and pretty easy and the kids will get to sign up accordingly so they're not forced to to kill themselves and uh and there'll be plenty of counselors and the nurse will be around and it it's only a, a 15 to 20 minute van ride uh to go and and you know get somebody if they twist an ankle or um whatever the case may be um so we're not anticipating that but um there's always safety around i guess last piece um, even here, so here's the town park, right? Oh, that's the van we drove down in. You go across the little street and this building that you're looking at is the Salle de Royaume de Témoin de Jehovah, the Jehovah's Witnesses. So 
Yep, even in a small little French town, they have a big parking lot for France, which tells me they're either optimistic or they actually get that many people. And if they get that many people to fill that lot, it's not a huge lot, but they can fit, I mean, that may be 50 to 100 people um, just because the French drive small cars. Um, and that's, it's just very sad. That's a good sized church building for France. Um, and so if the JWs get that many here, that again, this is very sad. So be in prayer. France is a very spiritually dark place, not unlike uh, what we're facing in New England, uh, but um, um, people are much more open to the gospel than in the past, uh, according to the missionaries. So there you go. And we shall talk to you soon. There's the ape that I tried to talk about. Maybe you get a better shot of him uh, from this vantage point. All right. So again, we are now in the valley. I came down off the Alps. We're in the valley looking at the Chartreuse. And we are about to play Frisbee. See ya.